What is going on, guys? Wiser here, bringing the recap of the last war for Invicta. Uh, it was an arranged matchup against the six Schlitzes. Um, arranged kind of over the last little while here. Um, I know they were uh, were trying to get in. I believe maybe I saw a Hog Rider series. Not 100% on that. But anyhow, it happened. Uh, matched up with Invicta. 87 to 83, Invicta came away victorious. Uh, really nice to see that green straight for the Invicta boys. Uh, six Schlitzes, though. Uh, oh, excuse me. Six Schlitzes. Eh, it's hard to say that. Six Schlitzes brought the heat on this one. Um, they missed maybe a couple nines, Glenn and Patino there, I believe. Oh, and another nine. Mm, yes. Uh, so that ended up being the downfall, really. Um, although Ice had a sexy, sexy TH10 triple, um, which also uh, helped widen that gap a touch. But let's just jump right in and check this out. Ice hit number four here. <clears throat> uh, so kind of beaten up on this newer Town Hall 10. Uh, Ice really, really uh, does a good job with this queen walk here. Just kind of see how this pans out. Queen goes down, wizard goes down, help make sure she funnels her way on down towards uh, the six o'clock area. Good times to this a little bit. This takes forever. I got to let these queen charges and walks. Take so long, but everything is just going fine and dandy. No threat to the queen whatsoever at this point. At some point here, all of a sudden this wall is going to open up, I believe, somewhere over here. Uh, and then we're going to send in a, a golem, a king. Uh, brings up Pekka as well. This could have just very well been, you know, a solid two-star hit. There goes the jump. Wall opens up, yeah. So just kind of going to sandwich this base. I mean, this is like taking a safe two-star with a good chance to three star on the end, right? Because you do bring that one Pekka, uh, that queen's going to do serious work, even brings a couple hogs. So I thought that was kind of neat. Um, you know, wizards all around, golems doing taking. Here goes that Pekka, really just got to get that inferno tower down. Once this queen can kind of get out of trouble, too. Or maybe she does go down. I don't know if she beats through this lab wall all the time, but all these wizards, look at all those wizards, just beautiful. And here come those two hogs just to back things up. Queen does manage to get there in time, rages it up. GG, Iceman with the TH10 triple. Again, see, I, I fast forward the queen walk and then I freaking forget to slow it back down again. My bad, guys. Tree stars in the bag for ice. Uh, life, very, very nice attack here. <clears throat> 18 Valkyries. <laughs> This recognizes this huge moat. I like kind of showing these very abstract bases because I do give props to these guys for just trying stuff different. I mean, Town Hall 9, to get a third, like, you know, to get two defends is difficult these days, to say the least, right? So, I mean, when you, you got to start thinking outside the box, so I kind of appreciate that. But then you start to open yourself up to things like this. 18 Valkyries about to just go in and shred this queen chamber. Then everything is like, watch it. Like, watch how fast these Valks clear out this uh, these lava walls here. It's just ridiculous. Gonna zoom in here a little bit. Check out these Valks. Here comes a packet. No big deal. King, queen, and 18 Valks. Watch this packet die. Boom. See ya. <laughs> Watch this wall, lava wall with 18 mouths, <laughs> like two hits and it's done. I don't know why they delayed there, but <laughs> just hilarious. Oh, this is a really cool attack. Not often you get to see 18 redheads in the same attack. So they're going to lock on this wall. They're doing all tanking for all the point defense here. So he just sends in the hogs here. Not a huge threat of, a, of any sort of bomb. Does drop the heal, gets the Valks kind of heal back up um, as they work on this compartment. And then there's only two compartments, sorry, three compartments remaining uh, for the rest of this Valk army to handle hogs. Even has two hogs in the bag and two heals. That is the key component to all of that. So there goes that first heal. Heal the Valks while they work through the lava wall once again. So that's now three lava walls those Valks have chewed through in like seconds. <laughs> Just destroying this base. Uh, these hogs are going to pit her out. I believe he ends up saving the heal uh, for the end for the Valks here. Boom, there goes their fourth lava wall. Just going to rip through all of this. Queen is still in there. He's going to have to burn that ability fairly quickly. Oh, no, I lied. Walks out of range of that Tesla. It's no big deal. Still, the Valk Parade continues. 
and the times to this because they're just going to have to clear through all of this trash and then burst through another lava wall to get into this queen. But there goes that last heal, just kind of keeping them up. Well, they work through that final compartment. And there's a couple cleanup buildings. Uh, he did drop a wizard there. I thought that was strange. Should have dropped it over on this side, but no big deal. Good job, joke. Very creative attack. Well, there is an archer, cleanup archer over there. Queen gets over there just in time. Tree stars in the bag for life. I think life had a six star war too, so nice job, man. Yes, he sure did. There's his other one right there. Uh, what do I got? Crap off here. Uh, let's go down a little bit. I got number 13, Derp a Doo hitting up Jeff Smitty. Just brings a queen walk, cold blooded go hope. I thought this was uh, just a really good use, obviously, of kind of the queen walk and charge. Um, brings eight wall breakers, so it does kind of have a double pronged wall break uh, going on uh, with the, uh, you know, it's going to do the queen walk, charge in a bit with the king and uh, golem and charge in on another side. Um, but watch kind of the patience, just kind of walks this queen all the way down to, I believe, almost the six o'clock location. Uh, and then just kind of meets everything up. Uh, really, this base one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, you know, only really not, um, I guess, nine parts. So the bare minimum. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, five. Wow. Whew, must be late. Anyhow, um, very like kind of, it's almost like a symmetrical base. It's not, but it's just a little too uh, boxy in my opinion, I guess would be the way. I, I kind of fall into the trap of some of the bases that I build. They're just a little too boxy, easy for jumps to happen, easy for uh, to understand um you know once certain defenses go down where you can wall break properly blah 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 uh, so giant's going into a tank too and i really like that giant's can kind of even walk right in there so huge patience on this little bit of a queen walk quickly times two because it's about to get real <clears throat> queen steps up gonna take out the rest of the defenses here comes that clan castle poison goes down rage goes down queen takes care of that like absolutely nothing and here comes the golem King's going to jump in there after the wall break is uh, takes care of everything. Boom, see you later, wall. King goes in immediately. Just got to knock down that builder side and he's going to lock on that defensive queen. And realistically, 40% of the base with the defensive queen and CC troops are now accounted for. Uh, he can commence, you know, 20 hogs from the top section of the base uh, with uh, a heal and a rage he still has for the uh, for the queen, which he's probably not even going to need to use by the end of the raid. So it could really be sending in hogs now at this point. Uh, I'm not sure what he's waiting for exactly, but... Uh, maybe he's trying to trigger some bombs in this compartment, I believe. In fact, I think that's exactly what he wants to do. Get a little tanky on that Tesla farm as well. But here come a few to sprinkle him in on this uh, backside chamber, the 12 o'clock chamber. See them all here. Heal, I believe, is going to go down right there. Boom. Taking care of all those hogs. Expo goes down instantly. Everything's going to filter on over to that other expo once they just get through these uh, other buildings. Uh, you know, Wizards all over the base. Has three hogs left and there's only two defenses remaining. So... G, G to this base. You just wrecked it, Derp. I really like this queen walk. You just read that one. Well. You just knew that as long as you could funnel her down, she's going to walk and pick off all these outside buildings and then just step in and help out the kill squad. So that's how she's done. Beautiful. Let's go Taco Burrito. Uh, I did not recognize this name. Uh, the Sadi Rican? Sadi Rican? Not 100% sure how to pronounce that. Uh, very cool attack here, though. <clears throat> Only level 15 and 16 heroes, which I thought is an important note to make. Ooh. My headset's making noise. Um, and goes ahead, uh, just drops the, the two golems, right? Shattered entry. Has three Lava Hounds and ten balloons, but also brings three Valks. I thought that was kind of neat. Uh, really just wants to get a good push and take out both those air defense and that defensive queen. Those Teslas pop. I thought the rage here was fantastic. Watch how fast these Valks just rip the stuff up. There's a P.E.K.K.A. in there. Boom. They just took out like the P.E.K.K.A. and three Teslas. Like all of that just went down instantly all at the same time. That was just awesome. Defense queen's down. Everything's continuing to work in here. Both air defenses are down. It's got three lava hounds with 10 balloons for this backside of the base. Just fantastic. First two hounds are in. Dropping those loons. One, two, one, two. He's going to drop a couple more coming in and just slowly start working his way to the nine o'clock air defense. So he knows this air defense stands no chance whatsoever. Down goes the arch tower. Down goes the wizard tower. Here goes that last hound. Getting a little bit of tanking time for these balloons. 
Two more in, you're gonna have to fight that sweeper, but no big deal, because this one's gonna just jump right from that arch tower immediately to that air defense. Sort of unprotected air defense in a way. Um, the just the pathing was far too easy. It's just like one defense, air defense, right? It, that, I really try and avoid that at all costs. You need some defenses on the outside of your base, possibly, um, or even just kind of in an arc around the air defense to try and help pull. Uh, pull balloons out of the way, otherwise you're forcing the guy to deploy multiple balloons at the same time. So if you need to drop all the buildings at the same time, they'll funnel into the air defense. But if you have, if he doesn't do that, then what he just did there wouldn't have happened. <clears throat> Very nice tack though. Tree stars in the bag. What else I got? 19? Is that what show? Yeah. I think that'll do it. DWS. Man, the amount of gobos in this war was insane. Um, so love this troop comp. The old double jump gobo, two jumps, two heals. Everything's looking good. He's got eight Valks there, uh, nineteen hogs. So goes ahead, drops the two golems. It's gonna create a nice, nice big funnel. All this stuff's gonna go down. I'm gonna just jump straight on in here. It has no wall breakers on this, which I thought was kind of interesting. So there goes the jump. Gonna let everything in, right? If you count those tiles, one, two, three, four, five, six, no bueno for jumps, because that's gonna connect this part to this part, which also connects your queen chamber. A huge, huge flaw, which DWS picks out beautifully in this base. You're gonna just walk everything. His queen does take a hike. I like the instant reaction to throw some hogs in there to make sure that she stays alive, at least to walk around the base and clean up. Her job is basically done anyways. The clan castle's taken care of, so it's no big deal. Everything's in there. Or I should say the clan castle is a lab hound, so it's no big deal. But uh, everything's going to move in. King's going to finish off that expo, but I think that's about all he gets. Well, no, he rages it up. Good, good. I thought he raised it already. Um, but hogs in all over the base, right? You know, three here, three here, just surgically picking this apart. Looking very, very nice at this point. Heal goes down and keep all this stuff up. His king even gets a little bit of that heal action before he goes down. A few more hogs to throw on that Tesla, but uh, tell protect that queen once again. So just really, really read, read the uh, attack very well on the fly there, DWS. Uh, I like the reactions. Um, you know, three hogs there, three hogs there, just in time to make sure that uh, your queen lives through this entire raid because it is clean up time. Beautiful. Gova Ho it is OP at TH9. Tree stars in the bag. All right, so good war, Invicta. Love you guys. Seriously, just uh, keep plugging, man. Uh, stuff like this is going to just get better and better, and we're going to get better and better. And uh, watch out because these Invicta guys are hungry to get into 2.0. Um, you know, so it is uh, it is a show down here in Invicta. We'll just say that because all the guys are always trying to put on their best efforts. Not that it, not that everyone always is in, but you know what I mean. It's almost like I don't know. I don't even want to describe it. I just it's it's awesome to see these guys putting up these tree stars like constantly because uh, I know they're doing it uh, for the 2.0 fam and I love them. For it, so uh, that'll do it here for your wisdom from wiser guys. Just trying to help you bag that next tree star. And until then, I'm up.